thanks everyone for today. I'm making an announcement in regard to the immediate future of Greyhound Racing at the Dapto Club. Pursuant to the Greyhound Racing New South Wales powers under the Greyhound Racing Act, I've appointed an administrator here at Dapto to run the operation. Grant Carroll. Jaron SW has appointed Grant Carroll, a former Chief Steward of Greyhound Racing New South Wales, to take the role as an administrator. Grant stands behind me now. Grant's appointment and authority is effective immediate. The message from Greyhound Racing New South Wales is simple, that if the DAPTO club does not have the ability to run the Greyhound Racing venue, we will. Since Greyhound Racing New South Wales, the participants of this region were blindsided by the DAPTO club's unlawful announcement yesterday, I've been inundated by calls from participants across New South Wales to step in and fix the problem. Greyhound Racing New South Wales supported Greyhound Racing at this iconic track and will continue to do so. I drove from Sydney yesterday and I've consulted with some angry, long-suffering participants in this region. The lack of confidence in the DAPTO club's governance has reached tipping point. I want to be clear on some background and context. Greyhound Racing New South Wales has spent the last four months consulting and negotiating with all 15 TAB clubs in New South Wales to finalise agreements to fund their operations under a guaranteed three-year funding agreement. 14 other clubs have come to terms with Greyhound Racing New South Wales and signed the funding agreement. This funding agreement secures the financial position of each club for three years. Only one club refused to sign, DAPTO. What became increasingly alarming during the process of negotiations with the DAPTO club over recent months was the administration and financial reporting of DAPTO club's accounts. Despite lawful requests for more information about these accounts, nothing has been forthcoming, which has added to our concerns. Up until today, the DAPTO Agriculture and Horticultural Society has overseen the venue here at DAPTO and held the licence for DAPTO Greyhound Racing Club to stage TAB meetings. As such, we sought clarification on these accounts, in particular costs listed separately for each of the DAPTO Agricultural and Horticultural Society and DAPTO Greyhound Racing Club. As I said yesterday, Greyhound Racing New South Wales believes the request for clarity and scrutiny of these accounts is the trigger for yesterday's blindsiding by the DAPTO Club of its own industry participants. We want to make it clear the Greyhound Race in New South Wales will be seeking further clarification of the DAPTO Club's historic accounts and has not ruled out legal avenues to get to the bottom of it. There is no reason for the DAPTO Club to abruptly shut down while under scrutiny from GNSW about its accounts. What's more, the decision is unlawful according to the DAPTO Club's own constitution. That is why we're taking these steps today. It is also why we are pursuing further investigation and auditing of the financial histories of the DAPTO Agricultural and Horticultural Society and DAPTO Greyhound Racing Club. After this, our administrator will access the park. If he is obstructed in his duties, we will instruct our lawyers.